Well, greetings to each one of you. Oh, we're hitting the Psalm of Psalms. <laughs> this is uh, uh, the longest uh, chapter in the Bible, 119th Psalm. Uh, man, power packed. And you know what? Isn't it interesting? It's all about the Word of God. You think that's it's in the center of your Bible, pretty close anyway, to the center of your Bible. It's the centric theme of the Bible is God's Word, and it's the, got the most content. <laughs> uh, so uh, how exciting is that? Uh, he says, remember the word to, to your servant in verse 49 of the 119th Psalm, upon which you have caused me to hope. Isn't that great? Just that alone, we could stop right there and be action-packed and have a lot to talk about, but that we have hope because of the word that we remember that was spoken to us from God. And, and, and again, if you and I are in the word like you're doing right now, I commend you for this because this, uh, these Devo Todays can be a great treasure trove for each one of us as we just kind of contemplate God's word, his truth. And as we do that, it causes us to have hope as we move forward in the course of any given day and in the life out ahead of us. This is my comfort in my affliction. Isn't that interesting? This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. It is life-giving. God's word is alive and it is life-giving. Isn't that wild? It's living and powerful, the author of Hebrews said. The Holy Spirit's described through the author of Hebrews. It is living and powerful. Isn't that, that well, how wonderful is that? Uh, and, and then it says, the proud have me in great derision, yet I do not turn aside from your law. He goes, I, even though I'm, I, I, I'm being pressed, you know, and, and oppressed, yet I don't turn aside from, from your word, from your law. I remember your judgments of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. So this idea of remembering God's word, and it, as I contemplate God's word, I have hope. And I find comfort even in the, in the affliction, because your word has, is the source of life for me. And then he says, man, I have gone back to it again, as, as my source of comfort. You know, I've just, I've, I've just gone back to that same place. You know, this is the thing. The word is exhaustive. You, you could never exhaust the truth contained in God's word. You go through it once, there's, it's so packed with so much powerful information, life-giving information, that every time we go through it, we're, we're in a different season. Life around us is in different seasons. Different things are happening, and yet the application is relevant to those circumstances. We take it in, and we find comfort and hope. Man, I pray that that would be yours today, that you would find the comfort and hope that you need today, just as I do, from God's Word. He is the source of life, and God's Word gives it to us just, just as we need it, just in the amounts that we need it. God bless you. Have a great day.